Alrighty, so I just finished watching Heaven Can Wait, and that is the second Warren Beatty movie, no, third Warren Beatty movie I have watched, and I was so surprised by how much I love this movie. It was so comical. I found so many scenes really funny, and the story itself is just really heartwarming and I loved so much about it. It's only 3.30 on Sunday right now, so I still have so much, so much of my day left over that, I don't know, after watching that movie, I just feel like I want to do something. I don't really know what. I don't really want to spend money if I can, naturally. When I think of going out, I think of bubble tea, but I really don't think that would be a good idea. I have gotten it over three times last week, and I got it yesterday, so I don't really think I should be intaking that much sugar regularly if I want to stay fit and tone down the stomach. <laughs> so I don't know, I'll figure something out, bring some water, that would be a smart alternative, and then figure out if there's anything else I want to eat while I'm out. I actually don't know what I want to do. I was thinking about driving somewhere and then sitting somewhere with really nice views and maybe writing in my notebook a little bit. I'm considering Alpine because that this field that I went to a few times with Rylai has a spot or a few where you can just sit on a rock and overlook a lot of stuff. I mean, the view isn't amazing, but it's better than my local neighborhood and what we have around here, so I may consider that. It is also still really hot outside, so I don't know how good of an idea this is. I just I just don't feel like being home. I could watch another movie, but I'm just not... I don't know if I can sit still for a whole movie again after just finishing one. I also figured that since it is really hot out, this is what I will be wearing. This is what I'm wearing. I look fat today. Well, tubbier than I like because I ate a lot of crackers earlier and I ate lunch, but maybe throughout the day it will slim down or something. And then I decided to wear sneakers. I don't know if this looks awkward as an outfit. I te Ideally, I wouldn't want to wear sneakers because they look casual, but I want a... Uh, the option to possibly do something where I have to walk a lot and if I wear flats, my feet will hurt. So, <laughs> we'll see what I end up doing. Well, I found this random place in Yapatol, California. It's southeast of where I live and I really haven't been able to find a place where I could just park and walk along some road or gravel. just. I wanted to take a nice walk that hopefully had views. I mean, I could technically walk along this road, but I feel like once certain points of the road narrow down where there isn't much space on the side, then it's going to be kind of dangerous. But look, there's horses right down there. Pretty. But overall, I love this. I am so jealous of that house all the way out there. What's so peaceful. Oh, I'm sad. I want to live out here. First. Hi, baby. Right now it is shortly before I'm going to bed. I just felt like recording really quick because I somehow had a pretty enjoyable evening. I mean, it wasn't anything special, but I just really liked the fact that this entire evening, I didn't have any moments where I was like, fuck, what do I do now? Like, what can I do to entertain myself? Like, I felt like I was occupied the whole time. And I really like that because I've mentioned how I've been restless lately. So I think it's getting better. Um, nights like tonight just surprised me because it was starting off a little tough. Um, right when I got home, I ate dinner and then I started watching Barefoot in the Park with Jane Fonda and Robert Redford. 
which is a romantic comedy. And it was actually pretty funny at times, but I, I found Jane Fonda's character very, very difficult. <laughs> she was very clingy and she was also very dramatic. And I guess that might be part of the comedy. I'm not sure if maybe that was common behavior among women back then, but yeah, I just like a lot of her character can be hard to take in at times, but that was one of Robert Redford's earliest roles, 1966, 69, I think. And um, still so many more to watch for him. And I, I guess overall I'd say that movie was all right, but um, I'd say 75% into the movie, I started got, getting really tired, so I ended up taking a nap and it's weird for me to take naps in the evening because I feel like if you take a nap, it feels like your whole evening is gone. So I actually ended up waking back up around 9.30, I'd say, and I was still feeling really, really groggy, but I still hadn't done my workout yet. So pretty much in the back of my mind, I knew that a workout was inevitable tonight which I actually find kind of impressive because I really didn't want to do a workout. But when I did my workout, I was actually still, you know, putting in good effort. I was very tired doing my workout moves and stuff. And then afterwards, I felt pretty good about getting it done. So I feel like the past few days, I have been eating a lot more, I guess. Um, it's kind of challenging for me to balance my diet at times because I do want to make sure that I'm not hungry and I want to make sure that if I am hungry that I'm eating something but I also want to try to be able to find a snack that keeps me satisfied for a longer period of time but there's also that challenge of whether I'm actually hungry or whether I'm just bored. I tend to eat a lot when I'm bored. It's definitely very noticeable at work. And at work, I tend to think of food a lot. So a day like today, um, I ate a whole roll of Ritz crackers at work, which is not ideal. Um, I feel like that's a lot more than I should be eating per day for a snack like that. But I ate that and then I just feel like I was eating a lot today. So I kind of felt like I took in way more calories than usual, which is why I wanted to make sure I got a good workout in. But that is just a challenging thing for me where I haven't found the ideal eating situation yet. Like aside from my meals, I struggle a lot still with snacks and uh, I don't know, I guess I'll just, try to see what I can manage and maybe try to just work on my self-control a little bit more because I do think I could work on that a little bit where I don't eat for boredom and I make sure that I'm only eating when I'm hungry. But after my workout, I decided to watch Creed. I haven't seen that movie in a while and I guess now that I watched the movie over again, I don't know if I would place it up there for a sports drama but it was enjoyable to watch it over again. For sports dramas, I tend to really, really like those sequences where they show the lead person working out or doing a lot of hard work to get in shape. I really, really like athleticism, so a sports drama done well, I really, really like them. Plus, there was a cute little side story for romance where sometimes you just think about how nice it would be to have someone that supports you and who makes you a better person. So it's five in the morning right now and I'm about to go to work because today I am going to a baseball game with Shane. It is the Dodgers versus the Padres. The main reason I told him I was interested was because of the natural which I watched a couple weeks ago with Robert Redford. And that kind of just like made me curious to see what a baseball game would be like. And I love 
sports. I like athleticism, so even though baseball isn't one of my favorite sports by any means, I still figured that it could be a pretty good experience because I've never been to one. So basically my plan for today was to go into work super early, that way I could leave around 3 o'clock and hopefully beat traffic. Um, the game is at 7 o'clock. But I just kind of want to be home for a couple hours before the game so I can spend time with Riley outside of the crate. And yeah, because if I were to just work my normal hours, it would just be cutting it close and also she would just be in there consecutively, which I'm not too fond of. So I want to get home around 3.30 to 4 and um, spend a bit of time with her before I go to the baseball game. So that's why I'm up super freaking early. Plus, I didn't get any sleep. Zero. I was in bed for three hours trying to sleep and I couldn't. Um, there's something weird going on with my bedroom where my nose is really stuffed in there and it's very frustrating because I can't breathe and if I can't breathe I don't sleep at all so I don't really know how I'm gonna end up functioning today. I, I like my sleep so it'll be tough but whatever. Time to start my day. Hi, I am just about to head over to Shane's before the baseball game and Today has been a roller coaster of a day. Um, not having any sleep was really, really, really tough on me this morning. Extremely tough. Basically, it had been over 24 hours since I got any sleep, and then I had to do a full day of work. So my first four hours were miserable. I tried to sneak in a nap just to function properly, and then the latter half of my day was a little better. But right when I got home, I took a nap because I need rest before the game. Uh, I only got like an hour and a half of a nap before I had to wake up, get ready, and now I am about to head out. Um, it does kind of suck being this tired before something that is like my first time experiencing a baseball game, but whatever. And I also do think I'm starting to get sick. I had, um, I have slight discomfort in the back of my throat. That was very slight, but I can feel it growing a bit in terms of how noticeable it is. And my nose has just been stuffed a little bit, which contributed to me not being able to sleep last night. So I do hope it doesn't get that much worse. I really hope, I hate when there's like throat stuff, when you swallow and you feel, ugh. <laughs> Going into this event with this mindset isn't the greatest. I just hope there's not that much traffic and I hope that I do manage to enjoy it. So I will bring you guys with me and we'll see how it goes. Good, very good. 
you out. Hi. I just got back from the baseball game and it was a pretty cool experience. It was my first one and I do like to see sports things but the thing about baseball is that there is so much downtime and getting a hit is way less than I expected so I feel like something like that I wouldn't really want to go live because there's just like no action half the time um, plus like when it comes to crowds and loud noises and jeering from the crowd I don't really like being around that it does start to agitate me a little bit plus I feel like um, stadium culture is kind of weird because you know they always play loud music they try to get the crowd to clap along to stuff and they just I, I get the impression that they think that the crowd gets bored so easily without these other things to entertain them that if they don't do stuff like that maybe attendance will go down I'm not sure because in the past we had we didn't have fancy stuff like this people would just attend the game to watch the sport not to clap their hands not to do karaoke in between breaks but um yeah it was pretty unique uh seeing a home run was really nice and hearing the bat make contact with the ball oh sounded so nice but the main things that I thought of at the game was Everybody Wants Some, which is a Richard Linklater movie, which is a comedy that I absolutely love. And it's about a bunch of baseball players in college. I think the setting takes place in the 1980s. But that is one of my favorite baseball related movies. And then the other is The Natural, which is why I decided to attend one of these baseball games in the first place. So being there live and associating it with those two movies was pretty nice. I liked it. Um, I had some pizza. That pizza was really good though. And I just had a beer, but just one. I didn't really feel like getting another because I, I pee a lot and I don't want to have to be going to the bathroom constantly. Plus, um, lately I must be doing a really poor job with my diet because after I posted that fitness progress video, my stomach Oh, protruded so much more these past few days like I am very displeased with this backwards progress I've been doing so I think I need to cut out bubble tea I really need to cut that out that's just all sugar and I should not be drinking stuff like that if I want my six pack so it's stupid of me to keep that in my diet if I know that it is hindering my progress um, aside from that, today, unfortunately, I just can't exercise. I really wanted to before I went to the game, but I got no sleep. I have been running on zero hours of sleep for nearly, I think it's almost 24 hours now, like maybe, maybe at least 1.5 days, but I am definitely exhausted, so it sucks because on a day like today, I did not spend much time with Riley at all. I woke up super early, not even woke up, I was awake, but I decided to start getting ready for work at four in the morning and I was doing my hair and I um, didn't feel like walking her when it was still pitch black outside, so we didn't get to go for a walk. I wrestled with her a little bit, but I did not come home for lunch because I already made plans to go out with my coworker for lunch so today also though was 88 so I wouldn't have walked her today because it's just too hot but just in general I've been so busy today and even though I came home early from work I left work at like three o'clock there was not much traffic I needed a nap there was no way that I was not taking a nap so I just decided to nap in bed and I just let her sleep on the floor because I don't really want her in my bed hello there so I actually just finished my walk with Riley and my groceries got delivered uh, right when I got back so I didn't realize that they were coming so quickly so I kind of had to like run the last 0.1 miles to make sure that he wasn't waiting there too long but since it's conveniently here I will show very quickly what I got 
don't know if people care <laughs> about grocery stuff, but I bought some almonds to snack on because you know what? Even though nuts are very boring to me, they might still be worthwhile to eat and they might still like be a good enough filler for me to eat so I don't buy out or um, buy a snack from the vending machine because when I'm at work, I get a lot of thoughts of eating stuff, whether I'm actually hungry or just being bored. So even though almonds are boring snacks, I get very tired of nuts very quickly. Um, I think if I'm able to eat something, then it should prevent me from spending money because, you know, when you're at work, you have no options when you're hungry. So I don't want to always think about ordering out or eating junk from the vending machine, which is a big waste of money. So that's why I ordered these almonds. Let's see what these taste like, actually. Wow. Super basic almonds. So, Blue Diamond has a lightly salted version, which I chose not to buy because I couldn't remember if the salt was on the outside or not. And I don't like extra shit getting on my hands when I eat finger food, which is why I bought this version. But this version is probably the healthiest out of all of their versions because I bought um, like Honey Barbecue last week or whatever the heck it was called, and it was covered in sugar and it was really disappointing because it was delicious but it would have been delicious without so much sugar which is freaking annoying hi baby she's waiting for me to feed her <clears throat> i'll probably feed her in the middle of cooking while things are softening because sometimes i for stuff like cauliflower i love cauliflower soft so i leave it in there with some water so it Makes it soft, not hard to chew. I got some cabbage. I love cabbage. I bought more oil because I'm running out. I'm so glad I didn't forget, that would suck. I got some cream cheese. Not the most healthy purchase, but I bought some bagels this week. And I plan to eat my bagels mostly with avocado and eggs, but just in case I don't feel like eating that, I will eat it with cream cheese once in a while. Campbell's chicken noodle soup. I actually really like this one and it's probably like, I don't know, zero benefits to eating something like this, but sometimes a decent filler for a meal if I'm lazy. Um, I got some more cheese for my sandwiches. Oh, here's my meat, roast beef. Last week they ran out of whatever meat I chose. I don't remember if I got turkey breast or roasted beef. I've been rotating between those meats. But last week they gave me peppered turkey and I hated it. So this entire week I didn't eat a sandwich because that's the meat I had. Got some bananas. In the past I would avoid buying bananas because I wouldn't manage to eat all of them. But last week or this week I guess uh, I bought bananas. I don't remember if I bought five or four, but I ate all of them, so I'm pretty happy about that. More raspberries. Love raspberries with my oatmeal. It tastes so good. Cucumbers. One avocado. Avocados are freaking expensive. This was like three bucks for one, which is a lot for a small little thing which is why I avoided buying two. I got me some eggs. Oh, my counter is getting kind of crowded. I bought more crackers. Crackers is like my snack of choice right now. And I would still categorize it as like not necessarily a healthy snack, but I think it's far from junk like chips and popcorn and stuff. So bagels, blueberry. Um, last time I got everything bagels and I do normally love everything bagels but their specific one I bought from Sarah Lee she just had a lot of stuff on the outside and it was getting all over my counters so I didn't want to deal with that again I bought some more spinach for my sandwiches I bought some oatmeal because I am pretty much out and then 
granola for oatmeal. Oh, and one more thing I bought. Oh, more chicken, rotisserie chicken. Wait, I can't even smell it. Wow, I can't smell it through the bag. Last time I could smell it very clearly. But yeah, tonight I am planning on cooking cauliflower. I have some leftover from last week, so cauliflower, one potato. I don't feel like chopping two potatoes up. So one potato, um, some cucumbers, I think. And maybe I will throw in, what else do I have in my fridge? Maybe a pepper if I still have a pepper left, but <clears throat> usually I try to cap my mixtures to four ingredients, three minimum. So, and then I will add my chicken in there. Um, that has been a good idea for me to add in chicken to my mixtures. That way the chicken breast is not too dry because uh, in the past, I would just eat both chicken legs and then the chicken breast would be extremely unappealing to me because it's just so dry. But if I put it in with the food that I'm making, then the oil and just like some of the water that I cook with probably gets absorbed in and then it's no longer dry and unappealing. So, all right, I'm going to put this stuff <laughs> into my fridge and then start cooking.